Hello and welcome back. Here we are at day three of my 12 days of Christmas. You're here with me, Christine of Christine Rose Photography. And today we're gonna dig in a little bit. I want to talk to you about why you're not growing as a photographer in the way that you want to. Or maybe what's holding you back that you don't even realize. Okay, it's story time. So when I graduated university, I went to uh, NASCAD University and I did a Bachelor of Fine Arts and a Bachelor of Design. I got a job right away as a junior graphic designer and as the head of a commercial photography studio um, here for a international toy company. Honestly, it was a dream job. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. To get this job here where I live was fantastic. But coming straight out of university, Ah, my confidence was a little bit low. I didn't have any professional working experience. And here I was thrown into this job where I had a lot of responsibilities right away and I had to, I had to do a good job. I noticed these feelings of inadequacy pretty early on. I would really question, you know, myself and my skills, can I do this? And it didn't help that there were all of these other really creative, beautiful, talented women working alongside me. I mean, weren't they like better and prettier and more qualified to do the job? I certainly thought so, very often. I, I struggled, I struggled with my confidence. Not that people might know on the outside, but I really did. And it was easier to see where my coworkers excelled at their jobs and where I just didn't. And then one day, I read this quote just, you know, on the depths of the internet and it hit home in a way that nothing else had by that point. That's by Theodore Roosevelt. And it was, comparison is the thief of joy. I wrote that on a post-it note and I stuck it on my monitor where I could see it every single day. That same post-it note traveled from different computer to different computer to different um, big screens that I was working on. It was always front and center on my workspace. I can actually, like right now, I can think back to specific instances where I started to think about what my coworker was doing and to compare myself to them. And I would look at that post-it note. I can see it, I can see the way that I wrote the C, like I had this exact same one. And I remember looking at that and letting it go. Those thoughts of comparison, those feelings of inadequacy, I let them go because I had this as a reminder. And a side note, this is like on a regular yellow post-it note. It wasn't one of those like fancy colored ones. You know, you have lots of fancy colors now and like this shapes and whatnot. No, this was like straight up plain yellow post-it note. That really kind of changed my life and the way that I approached my work. So let's bring this idea around to our growth as photographers. I want you to take a gut check every time that someone else's work shows up in your feed. So whether you're scrolling through Instagram or looking around on Facebook, you see this awesome photo show up. What do you think? What is your first thought when you see it? Is it, wow, that is amazing, that's so inspiring? Or sometimes, maybe depending on the day, is it, wow, that's amazing, I can never do that. You know, I often see images from other photographers and I will notice this little pang of jealousy or envy popping up right away. And I've realized that that's because I'm comparing myself to them. But you know what? Excuse my language, it's bullshit. I should not be comparing myself to some other photographer. Like over the past summer, and there's some photographers I saw and they went out every single night and were taking pictures of Neowise and they got these amazing photographs of like just the comet over this beautiful like range of mountains. Night after night, they're just coming up and showing these amazing photos. And at first I saw a few of them and I was just like, oh man, that sucks, I wish I could. But then I had to stop and it brought me back to this idea that comparison is the thief of joy because why should I be comparing myself to them? to a photographer who A, 
has a clear night every night in a row. Hello, I live in Nova Scotia. That's not my reality. I get a couple clear nights every moon cycle. It is what it is unless I'm hopping on a plane. That's 2020, so I'm not hopping on a plane. Two, I have two small kids and lots of responsibilities. So sometimes even when there is a clear night, no, I don't get to go out. Most times I do, my partner is very, very supportive, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. And three, I have a mountains out by the ocean. This is a very low elevation here. What am I doing even comparing or being wistful over that? Okay, what I want to get to you here is this idea that you should not be comparing yourself to any other photographer. You are not them. You do not have their life experience and their background. Maybe one of my images pops up in your feed and you're like, oh, that's amazing. I'll never be able to do that. I've had students tell me that. And if it was you, you know I shut you down on that because yes, you can. No, you don't have my background. I have two bachelor degrees. Um, I have been working as a commercial photographer for over a decade. I have worked with art directors, packaging designers, people who are so experienced and have given me their background and their insight and helped me grow as a better photographer. And that's a story for another uh, video. So no, you're not gonna create exactly what I create because you're not me but you are going to create something that's awesome for you. And you might be watching this and you might have images that are far advance of mine. That's great. I'm really actually happy for every person I see who gets out there and captures something that they are truly proud of because that's what it's all about. So I don't want you to compare yourself to me, to compare yourself to any other photographer, whether you perceive them as being a better photographer or a worse photographer than you. I want you to compare yourself to you. Take that photo you took today and compare it to a photo you took two weeks ago, a month ago, a year ago, two years ago. Are you seeing growth? Are you learning? Are you getting better? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the answer is yes. If you are dedicating any amount of time to taking images and learning, your images today are better than the images you produced before. And that is the only comparison that matters. So if you're not where you want to be, if you're not happy with your growth, I want you to stop and I want you to look at your images and compare them to your own. And I want you to give yourself the grace of seeing how far you've come and to also step back and be able to be happy for those other photographers and not have their success have any meaning for you because it doesn't. Your growth as a photographer is just that. It's yours. So stop comparing yourself to anyone else and only compare your work to work that you've made before. I hope that today has strung a chord with you. It's something that I have to do and remind myself of all the time. Literally, it's daily. We are inundated with these devices with all kinds of imagery all day long. So I really want you to take today to heart. Thank you again. Let me know, hey, what you think of this. Send me a message, comment below. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit more about this. What do you think about this idea of comparison, about growing as a photographer? Hit me up, tell me what you think.